Hey guys, just wanted to do a little quick update on the 91 parts car. We are loaded up, headed for the scrapyard. Uh, just kind of give you a quick overview. I've, I've had a lot of people on forums try to tell me that this was the nicer car than the white 85. Uh, it's, it's not. I mean, it's shinier, but it's not a better car. So I'll show you why. Uh, obviously, we have the front end accident. That's what parked this car back in 2020. You see this whole front apron is crushed in all the way back to here about the wheel well area uh, this section of the front doesn't look too bad uh, I mean it could probably be pulled or section you know whatever you wanted to do to bring it back obviously it needs a new core support uh, so that's the major issue that I knew about but we have since found other issues and I might I'm probably not gonna be able to really show you uh, proof, but just take my word on it. Um, we'll start back in this corner. You see some of these crappy wells and the red paint. I think I mentioned that in a previous video. Um, this has had a whole quarter put on. Uh, so this quarter, you can see, I don't know if it'll come up on camera, but that's actually where they sectioned it in up here. Can't really open the door, but all the way down to that original seam down here. I mean, it's not a terrible job, uh, but I mean, that's certainly failing. And then again, you can see the red paint, the white paint that it was painted at some point. So my guess is that this was wrecked at some point. They had to put a quarter on it. Uh, they found a red one. They painted it white to match the rest of the car. Uh, and then subsequently at some point it got painted black. Um, further that kind of cements that in so as i'm parting this thing out i had someone ask for the rear uh window regulators so i pulled them out and he at first says wow these these look a little different and i'll insert a, a quick uh picture of the two different re window regulators for the back so they were different so he's got a cable style this is this had the older style so the chassis VIN is 6228. I'll show that in a second here. If we can get it to focus. This is 225, I believe. I don't have my glasses on, so uh, definitely a different VIN. The other door on that side uh, is also matches the VIN for this, which both come back as a white E34 door. I forget the year. Uh, so that kind of cements in the fact that I think when this accident happened they were painting the rest of the car white and then we come back here to this trunk I, I was thinking well shoot you know if they had to put a quarter on it I bet they put a trunk I don't know if I'll be able, you'll be able to see that but that is a different VIN number once again than the other three and then I said well let's check the rest of the doors this door again, I can't open because I got a strap down, sorry, uh, is again another different VIN. Uh, but the driver door is the original door that matches the chassis. So you come up here and you might be able to make that out, the 662 uh, end of the VIN and it matches what's on the dash. So the chassis is the 662, but this door, that door, that door, that um, trunk lid, and the quarter are not to this car. So effectively this is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five cars put together to make this car. Um, not an end of the world situation, I, I suppose, but when you start looking at other damage that I've since found, um, this fender also didn't match. I forget which VIN it matched, but it came from one of the cars. This area is crushed in that was not repaired. My guess is that's from whatever the side swipe accident was. Uh, and the front of this rail, it, or this apron is also crushed, but that's likely from the previous 2020 accident. I pulled a Carfax on this. The only um, accident reported in the vehicle history is the 2020 accident, this front end accident. So whatever this was, was a, non-insurance job so there's nothing on the record that this thing was ever in another accident uh, and then 
I don't know, my eye, if you got to put a trunk, two doors, a fender, and a rear quarter on, that's a pretty significant accident, especially when you've got uh, front rail damage up here <clears throat> that wasn't repaired. Uh, you can't see it because I have um, all my crap in the back that's going to, to scrap, but the floor under the driver's side, someone uses a jack point. The floor, I think, on the passenger side, someone uses a jack point. That's all crushed. Uh, someone used the fuel tank as a jack point. That's all crushed. Uh, so, unfortunately, this this little car is, has had a life. And, um, you know, I can't tell from any witness marks if this valence panel was affected or not. It might not have been. They might have just been able to section it in here. Uh, certainly up in the strip edge, you can see some red paint. Uh, so I'm sure that was just splicing as part of the quarter. Uh, this might have been fine, I don't know. Uh, but this bumper cover, you can see, now that I've broken it, is uh, red as well. So unfortunately, this bumper cover wasn't too, too bad when I got the car. But I was, uh, I was stupid, didn't ask for help to unload it. When I unloaded it, you can't tell, but she got some speed on this incline and rolled right into my retaining wall. Uh, thankfully, the wall's okay. But uh, this this uh, bumper cover, unfortunately, is not. But it had some previous damage, too, and someone duct taped it here. Uh, you know, I thought about trying to mess with it, but eh. I don't mind the early bumpers on my 85, so we'll, we'll just work with that. Um, if you remember, I did steal the uh, rear disc brake conversion off the back of this, so that's just the drum setup from the other car. Then we came... We took the front struts out um, on both sides and the steering rack. I'm going to keep those. Uh, the front and rear of this car did actually have IBAC lowering springs, so I'm going to keep them. I'll throw them on the 85. Why not? Um, my 85, the battery tray area is uh, corroded, so I just did a butcher job cutting this out. And uh, now that it's out of the car, I'll go through it and take out the spot welds and take it out so it, it goes in nice because th this was... A real pain in the ass to, to get out as you can imagine um, trying to get in all these areas and obviously I'm not going to cut all that out of the car that doesn't need to come out it just needs this this top panel replaced um, I mean they're not expensive like 300 bucks but I got a good one here save me 300 bucks so uh, again I don't think you'll be able to see it but I cut the rear floors out of this the two back corners by the gas tank i'm 85 i've got some holes so i just cut a big section out uh, that'll save again free metal and it's the right shape so we'll just use that and uh like i said unfortunately this is going to head to the scrap yard so uh you might want to know what did this all cost me i bought the rolling car uh for 600 bucks trailer to here you know 55 bucks for the u-haul a couple bucks in gas it was pretty close uh, i sold the engine transmission out of this for 600 so basically got all my money back what i really wanted this for was the interior the interior on uh, my 85 is pretty shot in fact here's the old seat it's cloth this had uh tan vinyl so it'll look pretty good i was missing door cards so i kept all the door cards uh, the front seats, back seats, seat belts, um, selling the sunroof covers. A guy wants uh, to buy that for 100 bucks. Got a guy coming for a uh, set of the bottle cap wheels. Hopefully, I'll get like 200 bucks out of that. And uh, let's see, what else did we sell? I tried to sell those rear window regulators, but they were uh, the wrong style. But I'll keep those for the 85 because that matches that style. And I got a backup. Um, and I, I think those, you can't get new anymore. I know the fronts you can't get new anymore, but I think the back ones for the early cars you can't get either. So we'll keep that. And uh, let's see, I took the steering rack out, kept the blower motor, the wiper motor, backup parts. I don't care about the ABS. I, I mentioned before I might save it and retrofit my car, but nah, that's just a bigger project than I want to deal with. Stole some hangers and hardware, various things inside the engine bay. I'll probably grab some of those relays out just for spares. Uh, interior, pretty well gutted. I'm not going to save the dash. 
it's cracked up. It's actually better than the one in the 85, but uh, this one's still pretty cracked and you know, it's not much sense saving it. Saved the gauge cluster. Um, and the glove box I sold, I think for 150 as well. Uh, so I'll, I'll put a total in the end what the net outcome of, of this was uh, and then what I value the parts that I kept. And that's really, that's really where I think the money saved is. Like I said, this panel right here was 300 bucks. I don't know what kind of rear floor panels that you get, but if you can get them, figure a couple hundred bucks. So that saves me some, some money there. Um, and then basically netted zero with the engine sale. So, and I'll take this over to scrap. I'll probably get, I don't know, 70 bucks, 75 bucks. I think they pay like $7 a pound. Uh, this I can't imagine weighs uh, too, too much. I think the greeny 30 that I scrapped, I got a hundred bucks on that. So, you know, that was like 1400 pounds, but this is a lot lighter car. So we will, uh, I think we'll end this here. Um, and I appreciate you guys watching, you know, make sure to like, share, subscribe. Um, I'm going to get back onto the 85, start doing some work. I got the rear end to rebuild. I got parts here for that. Uh, I need to pull the carpet out, clean that and, uh, assess the floor, you know, see what, see how much I need to actually cut out. I, th I think it's just a small section, but with the carpet out, I'll be able to see that really well. Um, so on that, I will see you guys in the next one.